like in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to Funky Cool Threads. If you guys are new here, my name is Luisa and today I am taking you guys to Jet Rag $1 sale out here in Los Angeles, California on La Brea Avenue, I think it is. And this is definitely not my first time coming here. I've been coming here since high school and I'm so excited because it's 8 a.m. We took a spontaneous trip, left the valley at 4 o'clock in the morning and it is completely dead right now. So I'm excited to dig through all these piles and wait until the bells open at 10 o'clock. If you guys want to know a little bit more about Jet Rag, I'll do a little voiceover to give you guys a little rundown of what I'm looking for um as far as like pinterest inspiration like what are the vibes that i'm going for like this this thrift trip and then also we have a limit of 20 dollars and the clothing is one dollar so that's 20 items so let's head on in and see what we can find hi guys welcome voiceover luisa here so for this thrift trip i honestly wasn't expecting much i did want to look for vests that was like my main goal i just need more tapestry vests more funky vests in funky cool threads and honestly no luck with the vest or funky sweaters which is mainly what i wanted to come here for especially like the halloween and like christmas sweaters i feel like jet rag is normally like really known for that and i've had the best luck finding stuff like that but no luck here if you guys don't know what jet rag is it is a vintage store in la they do a dollar sale every sunday guys so definitely come out and check it out if you haven't already definitely hit or miss but if you're really into like vintage i highly recommend coming here and shopping their selection and the bales open at 10 o'clock which is like all the new stuff so yeah just keep that in mind as well so let's get back to the thrifting Okay guys, I'm gonna look through my items and see what I have so far and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna leave behind. Um, that way I can head back in there and grab some more stuff. Sorry if you can't hear me because I can't, I don't have my mic on. But let's look through our items and see what we can find. We just left Jet Rag and we are at the Melrose Trading Post. I've only been here once before, so I'm not really like expecting much and I don't honestly don't know what I'm looking for. But we're gonna head on in and see if we can find cute stuff. So let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> you are so hello hello guys welcome to the haul portion of the video i feel like it's been a while since i've taken you guys on a thrifting trip so this video was long awaiting i feel like i haven't hit the thrift store in like a month so i am so excited that i was able to head to la and go to one of my favorite places which is jet rag um i think i mentioned it in like the beginning but if you guys don't know what jet rack is it's a vintage shop in la um they do one dollar sales every sunday at 10 o'clock they open up the bail so it's like new items and stuff um i didn't stay for the bell opening just because i was getting kind of tired honestly and it was super hot and i was wearing this huge knit sweater i did end up taking off my sweater but it was still so hot like oh my gosh la like it's hot over there <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys live out there, I don't know how you do it. I am just ready for the fall. Even like here, it's still kind of warm. So I'm just like, oh my God, I'm like just over the heat. So I think I was just instantly like, oh my God, I want to leave. It's hot. And I just wore the wrong outfit to be on Jet Rack. I wore a maxi skirt. I kept stepping on it. But overall, I walked out with a total of uh 11 pieces i want to say because one of the pieces was uh five dollars which i regret washing now but you guys will see why and yeah each item was a dollar except for the five dollar one so let's jump into it the first item i picked up was an accessory and it's this like pleather not really leather because it feels like kind of soft, but it's it looks like a leather material and it's this hat. She still had the tag on it and I put I threw her in the washer and she did fine. I was afraid that she would have peeled and still I risked it on, just tossed her in there and she was good to go. But the brand is really hard to pronounce. It's Ilili, Ilili.com. So it's like a bunch of ILs, ILs. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, elilily.com. She's really cute. I wanted her for myself, but she's just not fitting my head the way I want. Like she keeps like slipping up, you know, and I think it's because I have such thick hair. Next item is a cutesy little apron. She's completely sheer. She has the cutest lace trimming and the pocket is just my favorite. I think it's so pretty. I love these. I actually picked up a lot and then I was like, no, you know what? I'm just going to leave them because I don't need them. I don't need them. I only need one and that's, and I'm good. So I am trying to keep her for me. I just think she's super cute. I personally love wearing aprons when I cook and stuff like that. I don't wear them as often as I want to, but I have a couple and this is just makes me excited to cook. So I just think it's really cute. It's also really like nice to wear even over like I know I've seen like people on TikTok wear these just out like as a layering piece. So you could always do that as well. Halloween is coming up so I could even be a little 50s housewife and wear this and I just thought it was so pretty. I just love how dainty and gorgeous it was and she did just fine in the washer as well. I always get really scared with like lace but you know what i'm a mom sometimes i don't have time to like wash and soak things for that long so it's like okay she did find the wash along with another accessory i picked up this gorgeous little like what's called shawl and i love that it's like a crochet she's just really pretty you could even wear her in your hair like and do just like a whole vibe like tell me this isn't a vibe it's a vibe she's really really cute and then guess what she actually has a tag so she isn't homemade and it's by h&m jet rag had h&m in there i feel like i've seen like forever 21 pieces there in the past but like you know i don't judge the next piece my girlfriend actually picked this up for me and it's this gorgeous runner look at how cute this is wouldn't this be gorgeous just for like easter i love it i think it's so 
so so beautiful my favorite flowers are tulips so i just immediately said yes and just threw her in my little basket so in the past i've actually gotten a lot of luck finding like vests and really cool dresses and sweaters and stuff this time around there wasn't really much i felt like we looked for a good two hours and then i overheard a lady saying like oh like she was telling like her partner she was like i think it's the same stuff from last week i'm finding a lot from like last week and like they're just throwing in like a couple of new items so i think that is what they do is like the first two hours that they open they have a lot of the items that they had the weekend before and then that's why they, they open the bales at 10 so that it's like more new items so that's really good to know for next time when i go go closer to 10 o'clock so maybe I, next time i can go like around 9 20 9 30 that way I, I get more of like the newer items because i didn't really find a lot of like super wow pieces in my opinion i think the only piece that i was really like oh my god like this is so cute and it's this um alfred dunner pullover sweater which i love alfred dunner um and it's super cute i just love like the neutral color with like the flowers i think it's so beautiful it's something you can definitely wear in the fall and in the spring as well with the colorway and i just think it's really fun but it's just not something that's like super like wow like i could have picked this up at like home you know but you know what i was still really happy with it i think she's super cute now moving on to like my more exciting pieces that i was like ooh ah about i just took this one out of the garage i um i hung dried her and so she's a little wrinkly because we need to steam her but i'll do like a little overview right here of how she looks like all steamed that way you guys can see but i found this gorgeous 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 vintage maxi dress and she's just like in this ivory colorway she has tulip prints all along she has this nice little cinched in sleeve on top just really really pretty and the back has buttons going up the back and she's just gorgeous oh my god i can't wait to show you guys an overview of her because she is so so beautiful i need to steam her i'm really happy with how well she washed in the washer as well and she didn't get ruined but I feel like the point is always to like make sure you hang dry because I feel like the dryer is what like fucks up the pieces, you know? Okay, next item. <laughs> she is so fun. She is literally so fun. But it's this sheer sleeve like top, but she's completely laced and <laughs> she's just gorgeous. I just think she's so cool. This is definitely my style. This probably belonged to like another like piece, like a skirt or something. But I just love all this detail that she has in the front. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And hello, I just couldn't say no to her. She's she's beautiful. I did pick up two dresses for Karamia. One being this little red vintage dress. She wants to be okay like she kept switching what she wanted to be for halloween and lastly she decided on she wanted to be a doctor like a nurse whatever so i was like okay i ordered the little hat and the apron on amazon and i was like oh my god this red dress would be perfect for her she tried it on today after i washed it it's a little short i think she could use it more as like a top um, but she has another vintage dress that has like ruffles and it's black it's red and white so I think she can use that too but I got her this cute little dress if she doesn't end up wearing it I'll probably pass this down to my girlfriend for her baby and it's perfect because it's like the holiday season's coming you know and then I also picked up this one for her oh my god I love this one I think she's gonna wear this for Thanksgiving I think it's just the perfect colorway without it being like the neutral browns and like oranges and look at these gorgeous little buttons in the back i am such a sucker for the buttons i think it's so cute and i love that it's like a velvety so it's comfy and very soft and then she has like a little pocket oh she's gonna look so cute in this i can't wait to see her in that next is a sweater i paid five dollars for and I threw her in the wash and dryer because I'm an idiot. Like, I'm literally an idiot because this is her. I love these sweaters. I love these little cardigan sweaters. 
But look at this. I completely ruined her. All the sequence is falling apart. It's all messed up. It's all loose. And I ruined her pretty bad. So I'm thinking about just using my seam ripper. Like this one's pretty bad right here. I'm thinking about using my seam ripper and just taking off all the sequins and the padding on the sweater. And then she can just be a cute little black cardigan. And then the little um, beads on going down the collar and the buttons seem to be still intact. So we'll leave those. But that was a bummer. I honestly don't know how many pieces that was. But we have two more items. So the next item I thought was super neat and it's this really fun forest green corduroy jacket and I just loved how funky she was with all this fringe detail, the velvet, the patchwork and the sleeves are super cute too with the fringe. I just thought it was super fun. I loved the back as well, just very like corduroy. It's giving very like a forest forest girl vibes and then she does have these like huge huge buttons and some rips there but honestly i feel like it goes with the vibe so i did not mind it whatsoever and last but not least i found this really cool what is this a bomber jacket <laughs> a bomber jacket from brian his name was brian and it's a rowlers eat and joe's bar from dallas from Duval, Wisconsin. I think that's what it says. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a year on this. It's made in the USA. I want to look up this like diner place because I feel like that would be kind of cool. I don't know. And I love the color. At first when I saw this poking out, I was like, oh my God, it's a Dodgers like bomber because I like love the Dodgers. But it wasn't. It was this. And I still think it's really cool because... I've been trying to pick up a lot more men's stuff because I have an event um, this week. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up at Jet Rag. I did get one item from the Melrose Trading Post, which you guys saw that I went. I found so many pieces that I really, really liked, but it wasn't anything that I was like worth like to me spending like the money on. I don't know if you guys saw like the vest with the chains. I loved that, but she was asking $35 for that. And it's not bad for LA pricing, honestly, because I have to like keep in mind that I'm from the Central Valley, so I buy cheap, I thrift cheap, and I sell cheap, guys. To be completely honest with you guys, especially when it comes to my markets, like I literally sell my tops two, two for 15. So like that's, those are my prices, you know? And it's like, whoa. I have to remember that I was at a LA flea market. So like, to LA customers, like that's reasonable. That's like, you know, someone in LA would buy that for that price. But I just wasn't that someone. I did walk away with one item and it wasn't a clothing piece. It was <laughs> this cute little clown. Cause you guys know how much I love clowns. And she was, it's a girl. I got it because like, I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of Karamia. Um, one year for Halloween, it was like, I think it was her second Halloween. She dressed up as a clown, and this just reminded me of that. And I'll insert a picture over here. She looked so cute, and I don't know. It's just something that I thought was super cute, and I'm going to keep this forever, and I'm going to pass it down to her. Hopefully, she's into clowns as much as I am, but I know one day she'll cherish it or look back on this video and realize that I was thinking of her when I bought this. So, yeah, that's all I purchased. Um... The Melrose Training Post was really cool. I really liked it. There was a lot to look at. It was definitely overwhelming after a while. But would I shop there again? Probably not. And I think that's why I've only gone. That was only my second time going. But yeah, guys, that is everything that I picked up this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my pieces from my website or from like Depop, which is the same thing. Um, or any of these pieces, I'm actually going to be vending at Harley Davidson, guys, in Ventura, California, um, this weekend, which I believe is the 21st. I want to say the 21st of Sunday. 
Um, so you, if you guys are in the area, it's from 10 to 3. I'll post a flyer here so you guys can take a screenshot. Come out and say hello. Even if you don't buy anything, come out and say hello and just like support the cause because I don't know. I don't think there's an entry to get in, but it's for cancer benefit and there's going to be low riders. There's going to be motorcycles there. I think I might be one of the only clothing vendors there. So if you guys want to come and shop funky cool threads at a discounted price because I do sell everything in person a lot cheaper than I do online, definitely come out and support or even just say hello, walk around and enjoy good music, good cars and my theo's niece um she's not my cousin because he's she's from his other side of the family she's also going to be singing there literally the most beautiful voice ever she will be singing there as well so i'll leave the information right here and then linked down in my bio as well if you guys want to come check it out as always thank you guys so much for watching and being here with me today i appreciate you guys so much i know it was a long-awaited thrift haul but let me tell you next week's thrift haul from my LA trip literally amazing so you guys don't want to miss it if you aren't subscribed already subscribe down below give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Monday with a brand new video <laughs> bye guys